Hi there, it's Jennifer, physical therapist and creator of Advocating for the Aging, which is a website designed for keeping older adults safe in their homes and out of the hospital. Today we're going to talk about how and why to use a tool called a tub transfer bench. So it's kind of like a shower chair. It's a, it's a seat that you can sit on while bathing, but unlike a shower chair, it actually is in the bathtub, but it also extends on beyond the bathtub so that you don't have to step in over the bathtub to get in. So I'd like to show you, and then we'll talk about how and why to use it. So you can see here, my tub transfer bench is in my tub. And like I said, it's in the tub, but it extends on outside the tub. The reason that's important is because if a person has trouble stepping all the way up over the side of the tub, maybe they just had surgery or maybe they're weak or frail, maybe they have been falling, then that can be a really big safety issue. So this tub transfer bench can really be a helpful tool. So I'm gonna just kind of show you here how I would approach it. Oh, sorry about that if I were a person that used a walker specifically. So I'd walk up to the tub transfer bench, use it to safely back up and sit, and then I can just kind of swing my legs in like that and scoop myself over using the handles. Now even if you are, let's say, a caregiver for someone and, and you help them bathe, then it would still be easier on you because you're not having to lift them up into the tub. Rather, they sit, they're safe, and then you can just help them to lift their legs, which is going to be a lot less lifting on you, a lot less risk for your back and your body. So, um, like I said, it's called a tub transfer bench. You can get these on Amazon, you can get them from Walmart, you can get them from durable medical equipment stores. Depending on where you get it, the price is going to be different, but um, what I'll do is I'll link to one from Amazon, just one that I like that's got good reviews and is fairly inexpensive. And then you can certainly check out that link if you like, or you can look anywhere else that you prefer. Um, while I'm at it, I'd like to offer you something. It's just a free little guide called 10 Things You Can Do Today for Free to Keep Your Elderly Parents Safe in Their Home. So I'll put a link to that below as well, and you can check it out. Thanks for watching. Hi there, it's Jennifer, physical therapist and creator of Advocating for the Aging, which is a website designed for keeping older adults safe in their homes and out of the hospital. Today we're going to talk about how and why to use a tool called a 